In this lab, I'm gonna focus on DHCP server configuration. DHCP automates the assignment of network parameters to network devices. Even in small networks, DHCP is useful because it makes it easy to add new devices to the network. And our network consists of a firewall to which computers and DNS server are connected via a switch. Our task is to configure the firewall to automatically allocate IP addresses for PC1 and PC2, provided that the static IP address will be allocated for PC2. Note that the DHCP server can allocate addresses dynamically or statically. We're gonna use the combination of the two mechanisms. Let's start with the DNS server. Open DNS settings and go to the basic config tab. The IP address is 10.0.0.100. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the gateway IP address is 10.0.0.1. Now go to the server info tab and set mapping between Huawei.com domain and IP address of Firewall's loopback interface. So Huawei.com and IP address of loopback interface is 1.1.1.1. Click Add and start the DNS server. Now we can start configuring our firewall. Go to System View, Interface, Loopback 0. IP address 1.1.1 .1 with mask 32. You must remember that a firewall blocks traffic by default. So adding an IP address to an interface will not make that interface reachable. First, we need to add this interface to the appropriate zone and allow traffic to or from this interface or between zones. Since the interface is located on our local area network, let's put it into the trust zone. Go to firewall zone, trust, and the command is add interface gigabit ethernet 100. I wouldn't like to concentrate on security policy now, so Let's create a rule that permits all traffic. Go to security policy, rule name, permit, action, permit. Now we can start configuring DHCP. The first thing we should do is enable DHCP globally. DHCP enable. Then we can go to interface GE100. The IP address is gonna be 10.0.0.1 with mask 24. To enable DHCP on that interface, we're gonna use command DHCP select interface. It allows us to assign IP addresses from the interface address pool to clients. Now we're gonna configure DNS server address for our interface address pool. The command is DHCP server DNS list and DNS IP address is 10.0.0.100. .0 so in our case, if PC1 and PC2 want to access Huawei.com, they need to send DNS requests to the DNS server to resolve the domain name. As we've set the static DNS IP address, we should exclude it from the DHCP pool to avoid IP address conflict. We can run the DHCP server excluded IP address command to specify the IP addresses or the range of IP addresses that cannot be automatically assigned to clients. So the command is DHCP server 
exclude IP address and the DNS IP address 10.0.0.100. What we want to do now is allocate fixed IP address to PC2. I mean bind an IP address in the address pool to the MAC address of PC2. Anytime PC2 requests an IP address from the DHCP server, the DHCP server finds the bound IP address on the host MAC address and allocates the appropriate IP address to PC2. In our case, 10.0.0.200. Let's do it and the command is dhcp server static bind IP address 10.0.0.200 MAC address and MAC address of PC2. Remember that you need to permit ping service on this interface, otherwise the ping will be blocked by the firewall. And the command is service manage ping permit. Okay, now we are ready to verify whether Huawei.com is reachable from PC1 and PC2. Go to PC1 basic config tab and check DHCP and click apply. Go to command prompt and type the command ipconfig. As you can see we have IP address allocated for PC1, IP gateway and DNS server as well. Can we ping Huawei.com? Yes we can. Let's do the same for PC2. Check DHCP, click apply and go to command prompt and type the command ipconfig. We can see that the IP address allocated is 10.0.0.200, so this is what we expected. Can we ping Huawei.com? Yes, we can. Okay. In this lab, you've learned how to configure the HCP server on USG firewall, the HCP server that uses the address pool of the interface. By the way, you don't have to use the interface address pool, but you can create both the address pool and DNS list globally.